Hey folks, welcome back to The Frugal Filmmaker, the place where the love of money is the root of all evil. Today we're going to talk about something super basic to your production, and that is creating a production slate. These are very handy and will help you very much in post-production. Now, if you've followed my blog at all, you'll know that I've written about this before, but things have changed recently, so let's take a look back. Earlier this year, I wrote a blog post entitled The Free Production Slate, and essentially it talked about how we all need some kind of marking system on our footage, and the most inexpensive way to do that. Now, one way is to use an insert slate, which is an acrylic board that acts as a dry erase slate. Now, and that's great, but it costs $8, so I thought there might be something out there that was a little more inexpensive uh, and a little more thorough, and there is something. It's called the Easy Slate, essentially a laminated card uh, with some great information on it, such as shot and take information, and there's also an interview slate, which uh, has blanks for names and titles, so when you interview people, you have their name in big, bold letters that you can use for your lower third supers. Now, the thing I didn't like about the Easy Slate was it was $59. Now, a good dry erase clapper slate on eBay is 20 and I thought this was way overpriced, so I thought there might be something uh, DIY out there that was just as good. And, of course, someone had created one called the Cheap Slate, which was basically a direct copy of the Easy Slate. Um, and I downloaded them and printed them on cardstock and laminated them, and I've been using them. But when other people wanted me to make one for them, I went back to the link and it was broken, sadly. Fortunately, I had already downloaded them, and I can make them available to you. Okay, so here's the Cheap Slate. Uh, this is essentially uh, just a piece of paper that's been laminated, um, but the piece of paper has lots of good information on it, and because it's laminated, it makes a great dry erase surface. You can pretty much write all over the thing and uh, easily erase it with a dry eraser. And reuse it over and over again. Um, so what I've done is I've made my own version. This is the frugal slate, that's what I call it. Uh, I've taken the most uh, basic information that was on this slate and transferred it to a smaller size here to make it more compact. Uh, notice that I've uh, gotten rid of the roll here, which is, refers to film roll, but I've still got production and date and scene and take, which are just as big or bigger than the previous version. Uh, then I got rid of sound and camera. Sorry, sound and camera guys. Um, and I kept this uh, shot information, only changed it a bit to make it more uh, pertinent to the shot you're doing. Um, I like the idea of having a filter box that this one had, only I've also added a lens uh, spot here, so if you're using a wide angle lens, put a W, or uh, maybe a macro lens, put an M, filter could be like ND4, or whatever filter you're using. If you're a digital SLR user, this lens box could come in really handy. If you ever want to duplicate the shot you're looking at, you can just put the type of lens, since your choices are much greater than, me, than my choices as a camcorder user. I've also got a couple spots for audio, so if I'm using a lav or a boom or some other kind of microphone, I can make a notation there if I want to recreate the sound in that specific place. And finally, I've got double system here. Uh, I'm using a digital audio recorder these days, so just like in this version, there's a sync box, which I guess I could have duplicated, but instead I create something that indicates double system so that I know that when I see this slate, uh, that audio that I use for the shot is going to be somewhere else. I've also created uh, an uh, interview slate similar to the one we saw previously, only this is uh, the same size as the production slate. I've gotten rid of the scene and take boxes and just created a uh, name and title, which I can put here. So when you see this on the video, you'll know how to, how to create your super, what the person's name is, and what their title is. It's right there for you, so you don't have to call them. Now you might be wondering why I use this specific size and why it's so much smaller than the previous slate, or the cheap slate. Well, these. Clapper boards are all over eBay, and you can get them fairly cheaply, about $5. Just type in Clapper Slate, uh, and you'll get a bunch of things. The cheapest one I found was $1.99, uh, $3 shipping, and they're made out of wood. They have a pretty good clapper sticks, uh, but their surface is uh, basically a blackboard, and we don't want to use chalk, and plus this information is too small. So I made everything bigger using this space, and uh, this size fits rather well. This size doesn't. Um, so what I'm going to do is take each of these slates, uh, tape them to both sides of this clapper board with uh, some gaffer's tape, and we'll have our frugal slate for about $8. And this is the end result. You have a production slate on one side, an interview slate on the other, and they both clap. Now, if you're not going to shoot double system sound, you can save some money by eliminating the clapper sticks entirely. Just print out the frugal slates or the cheap slates back to back and laminate those. Make sure they're on cardstock. You can find those graphics below in the description. They're a free download. 
Uh, now remember, when you take these into a print shop to do this printing and laminating, have the employees do it if you're going to do them back to back so they line up. Uh, because if they send you to the self-service computers, they'll charge you for computer time. I spent about $4.50 just on computer time that had nothing to do with printing or laminating. Uh, if you like this project, please come to thefrugalfilmmaker.com for more. You can also find us on Facebook, Instructables, and Twitter. And if you have a comment, question, or request, please send it to thefrugalfilmmaker at gmail. Tail slate.